Okay, so here in this lesson, we're going to uh, learn how to design a landscape, which includes a shoreline, okay? And the idea is to be conscious of the constructs, okay? And so our focus here on, on this landscape is the source of light, which is the sun, right in that area there, right? And as we learned in the previous um, studies about um, creating atmosphere and how the clouds dictate the, the, the feeling of the, the landscape setting, et cetera, right? We will implement um, that, that same sort of strategy, um, being conscious of the light source, okay, as the sun. And all the light emanates from that sun and the energy that comes from the sun, right? So, and we're going to employ our hot, warm colors, our yellows and reds, right, to represent the sun energy. And we're going to use the cool colors to harness the color, right? To harness that light energy, right? To focus it, right? And so the focus is gonna be right down the middle and the, and the bathing of that light going throughout the image, right? And so there are um, uh, the, the constructs, okay, there are certain elements here, right? So we're going to start when we paint um, the image, we're going to be conscious of the, the horizon line first as our design element, right? The, and the sun and the clouds are in the distance, right? And then we have a landmass here that's closer to us kind of in the mid-ground, and then we have a sailboat coming out of the harbor here, or out of the bay, which is also sort of in the mid-ground, and um, the water mass with the waves larger as they are closer to the, uh, the, the, the beachfront here, and then this dominant element, the tree, right, that, that appears, right? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure we have all our uh, materials, uh, we have our water, our colors, brushes, hair dryer, palette, okay? And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to end our number two pencil. The first thing I'm going to do here is tape down my piece of paper nice and neat, okay? Okay. And now I'm going to take my number two pencil, and we're going to draw... Draw in very lightly. Again, we don't want the drawing to overpower our design, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw what's furthest away from us, and that's the horizon line. And it's about, it's a little higher than halfway, um, dividing the page in half, a little bit higher, right? There we go. There's our horizon line, right? Our the vanishing line, right? And then we're going to locate the sun, which is sort of a in a, in a three-quarter design here, right about there. So sun, okay? Maybe a little closer to the center, right about there, right? And then we're going to indicate some some clouds, right? and smaller clouds in the distance, right? And larger clouds moving closer to us, right? There's clouds behind the tree there. They'll, okay. And smaller clouds in the distance, right? And so the next element, right, is this um, landmass, sort of a little peninsula sticking out there, right? So, um, comes down, enters, creates a point there. Okay. Right, and there's some some trees maybe there. Right, some. Okay, we're just indicating it. Some rocks at the end. Okay. Our sun and the uh, the reflection of the sun is going to be strongest right through here. Okay, so that's our landmass. Okay, and then our sailboat, right, which is 
starting from this little bay here, the wake coming out, okay, and the sailboat is listing slightly, right, so, I think it's, sort of leaning over a little bit, the wind, we have the mast, right, little pendant there so we make it like a gaff rigged cat boat kind of a thing all right and we have um, the jib the front sail all right and there we go Maybe indicate a sailor there. Okay, that's our sailboat. Okay. Okay, and it's leaving a wake, right? And then the next thing we do is we. Um, we uh, draw in our foreground. It's a bunch of rocks and things, and a little beach front there. Some smaller stones, and okay, um, some some grass. We're gonna draw we'll paint in there. Right, and next thing we're going to do is uh, draw in the tree. This is the little grass, right? Okay, the next thing we're going to do is draw the tree, and we're going to start with the trunk of the tree or the roots, right? And we're going to paint this tree in here, draw it in as if it's like grasping onto the shoreline there okay and then we want to give it a little movement lean the tree a little bit okay and all this will be brought to life in in more detail once we get to paint okay and so all these little branches are going to be in the foreground almost like a silhouette Okay, and the tree is going to have a little crown to it, branches coming off. foliage there and the branches to support it right we're gonna get, we don't have to get crazy detailed because we're going to be going over this again with the uh, watercolor and with the watercolor as we know we're always drawing with the paint okay and here we there you go right so branch with some foliage right okay so there's our composition right and the further away the sky and the sun that's going to be soft and then the the, the mid-ground islands can be a little stronger in graphic and then the, the most dense area is going to be the foreground right and so we're going to have larger waves coming forward right and the, the reflection, the light is going to be coming right through here. Okay. 
and the light's going to be hitting everything. The foliage, the tree, so all these edges will have some bright color to it. Okay, so there we are. I notice my drawing is nice and light, okay? And at this point, I'm happy with the design. I know where I'm going. I have my distance, light source, clouds, horizon line, landmass, right? The body of water with the uh, with the boat floating, setting sail. It's like a story being told here, and then the foreground and the tree to punctuate that composition, right? So all the elements are in the composition at this point. Okay, so at this point now, uh, we're, be we're ready to paint, okay? And the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to be starting with my bright primary colors, right? My yellow, which I have some down there, and I'm going to just freshen up a little bit of yellow there, and my red, okay? Right? And it's going to be a combination of yellows and reds um, those are the first that's the light energy that's the first layer okay so the first thing I need to do is I need to wet down my page right and I'm gonna use since I have such a large area I'm gonna use this nebulizer thing here and I'm gonna spray the water down some water down onto the page right and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm gonna work it into the paper a little bit okay I want to start soft okay and that's the reason for the water okay and the um, when the paper's wet as we know it absorbs and takes the pigment nicely so I got a nice even area of water okay and so I actually want to start with the yellow first right so okay yellowish orange okay and so I'm gonna start right where the Sun is okay and as we know this light energy is going to permeate the whole page it's going to go through the whole page right so we're going to distribute the color as such right okay we're going to make sure our color is strong enough to carry the the effect we want right And as we move away from the light source, the color might get a little less saturated, right? Okay, Just keeping that sunset light energy going here. Oops. It's important to understand that this color, the, the driving force of, is uh, it's permeating the whole image. And my most saturated areas are located around the light source where the light energy is most, where it's emanating from. Just work it with some water, keep it soft. Okay, and I'm already working and sort of getting the feel for, you can see the image. Getting a feel for the design, the drawing. Okay, and I think I'm pretty good with that, right? The light would be hitting this grass area, right? Certainly the edge of the tree trunk. Right? It would be hitting the 
foliage. Move the crown of the tree, keeping things nice and loose. Okay, now, at this point, I'm just going to um, dry the page. Okay. And so you can see how um, we've distributed the color nicely, right? We see our design. And we, we know where we're going for it. Now we're going to use the okay, cool so colors to how, harness that. Um, our color development strategy starts out with the bright colors, right? And we have reds and oranges. And we're going to use our cool colors, our blues, violets, right? To harness that light, to focus the light, right? And it's coming emanating from the sun here and highly reflected energy here, right? And everything else is going to be darker, cooler to the outside of that. So the first thing we want to do is uh, work in, a, in the distance, right? And um, the, the paper is fairly dry right now um, because I want to uh, define that sun, which is coming through the clouds sharply. Right, so I'm gonna, I, since we're we're in an orangey sort of um, uh, orangey yellow color, our blue is going to help define that. Right, I can put a little yellow in it to create that slightly bluish green, and I'm going to uh, just with a very light value. To find that sun, it's gonna be nice and sharp. All right, take some water, kind of push it around, soften it, as if it was shining through the cloud. Okay, and I'm gonna to continue to, oops, to find my cloud area. Okay, by implementing the cool color, the blue, and a little red, violet, right? And I'm going to uh, indicate some large cloud. And since the the color, the, the, the light energy is coming from the sun, so these edges that are sort of towards the sun will be brighter, okay? Okay, just establishing a cloud there. All right, and we go further into the distance. I'm going to uh, add a little blue to my palette. It's a little short on the blue. Okay, we're gonna work that blue into the distance a little more. Okay. All right. And we're working very, very light at this point. Right, there was a big cloud there, but this is this is in the distance. Right, so I'm painting the the sky way, way in the distance, right? There's gonna be some. Long clouds. And I'm painting right through everything, right through my drawing. I'm painting in the distance. Okay. 
nice and soft. All right, remembering that the light is coming from this direction. Paint in some smaller clouds here on the shadow side. I'm still working with that blue and as I put the blue down you see it's it's actually a violet so I can even push some red into it to give it a little more impact right keeping things nice and transparent I'm digging it These are areas that are further from the from the sun. So I'm structuring the clouds according to the light source. All right, see how that violet works, that cool color, and all this on the outside. That's all going to be further away from the sun. Right? Darker to the extremities. And as we get closer, these strokes get larger. The waves get larger. Okay. Okay. And so now what I want to do is I want to establish that, that island there, that landmass. Okay. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to take a blue. So since the sun is in the distance and it's coming this way, that landmass is pretty much going to be like a silhouette. Okay, it's going to be contrasty, right? Pretty dark, right? So I'm going to start with a light value. But I'm going to put it in there so we can easily identify it. Not too dark, just first layer, and you can see it coming up. Right, so this whole area where the water is there, that's all going to be in the shadow, right? The sun is coming this way, so this is all falling in the shadow area of that landmass, right? So I'm mixing up a bunch of that violet. Not too dark yet. Right, so these are nice transparent color. And like I said, as we move closer, the strokes get larger. Boy, I'm really using up that blue. Okay. Wait. 
color is still pretty hot, warm. Okay. And there we are, you can really see how the, the light is starting to get focused into this area. And we're gonna work even more on that. But now let's, we've, let's give the, um, the, uh, the island one more layer of color to really contrast it a little bit more. Okay. Right, so the distance, the mid-ground is represented by that island. Okay, we're gonna use a little bit more blue. Right, so that sort of that purplish color. And we're gonna really put it in there. Here's we can start to indicate some of the detail. Give it a little texture. So you can see how that light is in the distance there. Blue, red, more blue, blue, red, more blue. Okay, and it would be reflected, right, that color. be reflected into the into the water right see how that cool color is starting to bring in the, the light focusing the light and we can always go back in and soften these kinds of things you know these clouds have to be pretty soft okay okay Now we can uh, work more of that violet. Make a nice, and I'm gonna define that horizon line a little bit lighter in value. find the sailboat right away an interesting thing about the sails is that the sails are fairly translucent right so again we can use our color strategy right and here's where the sail will be dark as a silhouette but it'll have a color value to it that is suggestive of a transparent sail. Um, I'm a little dark here, but that can be fixed with a little water. There you go, that's a little better. Okay. It's a trick of picking up some of that pigment, making it a little bit more transparent. Mm -hmm. Right, and so our values are still pretty light. Okay. Um, and now we can um, mix up some denser value and establish our tree 
kind of disappeared, didn't it? But it's gonna be it's gonna be quite present. Ah, before I do that, I want to define the wake of the the sailboat a little bit. Very good. Now, let's mix up a bunch of dark violet, right, which will be our first layer, right, and so I'm going to sort of recognize my drawing in there, okay. Uh, Right, and the tree trunk is thicker towards the bottom, and then as you move away from the trunk, the, tr the tree gets, the branches become thinner. So I'm kind of following my drawing. Tapping in some of that foliage, All right? So I'm using a dark violet as a first layer. All right? <clears throat> and you see how the the values of the color in the background are falling within these darker values, right? So when you're painting way in the distance, you have to do it with confidence. In other words, it's it's all gonna be, and you're painting light, so it's all gonna fall within the um, values, and it gives it, of the, it's gonna fall within the darker values, and it gives it a transparent kind of look to it. Right, see these the foliage is supported by a bunch of branches. Okay. And the trees, it, it really has to stand out in the foreground. And it's really like a silhouette because the sun is on the other side of it, right? Sort of backlighting it. But our first value is going to be red to define that tree, reddish. Right. And there's our tree, and we're going to work back into it with a darker value eventually, right? So now, um, the 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 landmass here in the foreground we're going to create a darker like a purple right we're going to give it the first layer right all oh, this is going to be darker eventually with uh, the descriptive detail these are going to be rocks over here some grass okay And this area will be the furthest from the light, so we're going to use blue. Right, but it's still in the shadow area, right? So the blue is our go-to color for defining shadows. Okay. Right, so now you can really see the full dimension of the landscape, of the landscape, seascape, okay? And now we're gonna um, put in a little bit of that beach, 
with the lights hitting it, so it's going to be a little redder. Right, I'm going to give it a little texture. Right, first layer, some rocks. Right, kind of see through it, through the water. Dabbing the brush, giving a little texture. Okay. As we move away from the light, things get cooler. Okay. Okay, and as you can see, the light is focused right down the middle, and we're going to do more to focus it. Okay. Just gonna smooth this out a little bit. Some of the detail in the foreground. This tree is really hanging on to, for its dear life. The roots are wrapping around the rocks and stuff. Everybody's seen that, right? some grass in here right cool. weeds kind of thing first layer of the grass grass Growing up on the dune there. Okay. All right. Okay. And I'm going to take the time to um, clean up the palette a little bit and 